Okay, again. So you're a student starting off in the IB diploma and you're not sure what to choose as your group four subject, your science subject. And you go to your IB coordinator and the coordinator says to you, take ESS, take environmental systems and societies for it's the easiest course that you can take to satisfy the requirements of group four. Of course, bear in mind that environmental systems and societies is actually labeled as an interdisciplinary course, which means that it's classified as both belonging to group three and to group four. If you're looking for a subject to satisfy the requirements of the science component of the IB diploma or the group four requirement, then you can choose from a range of subjects. But let's consider ESS is one option, environmental systems and societies, biology standard level, chemistry standard level, and physics standard level. I myself have taught many students who have taken ESS standard level, biology HL, ESS standard level, chemistry HL, and I've taught IB biology, I've taught IB chemistry, and I've taught IB environmental systems and societies. So what then is the true answer to this question? What is the easiest way to satisfy the science component of the IB diploma? If we were to look at the statistics, you would find that the data shows that if you take physics, you have the highest chance of scoring a seven. This is followed by chemistry, and then environmental systems and biology tend to tie for third. Now, does this mean that physics is the easiest subject? Perhaps not, but maybe it is. And I think it all comes down to you, the student, and what you bring to the IB diploma and where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, and where your interests lie. But certainly, if ESS were the easiest course, then there would be a significant difference in the results. But the data shows that there's a much higher probability of scoring a seven if you choose physics. Now, what are some of the possible explanations that people give for this apparent discrepancy? Well, it's suggested that generally, the weaker students are the ones who take SL Biology and ESS, and stronger students take Chemistry SL and then Physics SL. And perhaps this is true. Looking at Physics, Chemistry and Biology, which have one particular assessment scheme in common, and environmental systems and societies which has a completely different assessment scheme. By assessment scheme, I mean the way that you would be examined in each subject. And finally, to answer this question, I interviewed several of my students over the years and I have also made my own observations. So what then is my opinion? What would I tell you is the easiest way to satisfy the requirements? of Group 4, the science component for the IB Diploma. And in my opinion, the answer to that question is to take Biology SL. Because in taking Biology, you study a specific set of topics, and you can do so in a very clinical topic-by-topic -topic way. Then you have a multiple choice exam. And for me, multiple choice questions are much easier than a long structured response, which is required in ESS standard level. But perhaps you're not good at multiple choice questions and you're very good at composing a well-organized essay. And most importantly, perhaps you have a genuine interest in environmental issues. And if this is the case, then ESS is the course for you. But you should not choose ESS because you think it's the easiest course to take because it might be for you if your strengths are in analysis and in making connections and in writing. But it certainly will not be for you if your strengths are in mathematics and in approaching your studies in a clinical manner and getting to the point, taking multiple choice tests and doing well. If your strengths lie in these areas, then you would be better advised to choose from biology, chemistry, or physics. Choosing physics if you have a particular strength in mathematics. Choosing chemistry if you simply want to satisfy the requirements of science and have a subject that is very much a foundation for further scientific study. Very often I've experienced that students who choose biology SL because they might come from a background in the ninth and the 10th grade where they have already studied a lot of the topics. For instance, the central dogma, which includes the double helical structure of DNA as given by Watson and Crick, and the full details of protein synthesis. Many 10th grade students 
also come with a full understanding of Darwinian evolution, natural selection, mitosis, meiosis, the structure of cells. And when they come with this foundation, already a significant chunk of SL biology is completed. Whereas many students enter ESS very much confused between the hole in the ozone layer and the greenhouse effect, which are two completely different issues. So as you consider what science subject you want to take for group four, it's important to consider carefully what are your strengths and weaknesses and what are your interests.